As long as I'm being honest and true to myself, I feel like I can do whatever I want. It's hard to pick a favorite album or say what's your favorite, but this album is different, I think, mostly just because I've been able to be so hands-on with, with every aspect of it, you know? Last night, Everything I Love and I Wrote the Book felt like the appropriate introduction, sampler, showcase, whatever you want to call it, uh, for my album because they kind of they kind of showcase each style of music that I'm going for. Lyrically, they're all different as well. They're just really diverse and you couldn't really get as far from, from one to the next. So I just wanted to give everybody a little taste of, you know, of each thing. I interpolated Midnight Rider by Almond Brothers on everything I love, and then we did Young Thug's Lifestyle on 180. Luckily, with having 36 songs, one of the good things about it is you get to experiment, you get to try new things. Um, those songs could not be any more different, but my musical taste couldn't be any more different as well. And as long as I'm being honest and true to myself, I feel like I can do whatever I want. Being a dad hasn't changed a whole lot about my songwriting process, you know, unless I'm specifically writing a song for him. Uh, and I haven't even done, I have not recorded a song like that just because I haven't found the right one or, you know, said the right words. I've written some, but they're just not what I, you know, they didn't turn out how I wanted them to. But, you know, a song like Dying Man, for example, we used um, a woman in the song, but to me, it's, it's me talking about my son. So I, uh, you know, Songs like that take on a whole different meaning for me. I mean, I don't have a girlfriend or a wife, so I would be inauthentic if I'm singing a love song about a woman changing my life. You know, that wouldn't that wouldn't feel right to me. But my son did, and that's that's really where the song hits home with me. This album is different, I think, mostly just because I've been able to be so hands-on with with every aspect of it. You know, from the tracking sessions to the to the mixing, to, to just being a part of, of, you know, Joey sometimes, like with my other albums. I was more involved in Dangerous, but with my first album, I was so busy. I was on the road, I'd come back. We had like 15 days total to finish the album. I'd be going back, going back. So there was a lot of things he had to do by himself where it wasn't gonna get done. And, um, you know, with, with this one, I got to be really, really hands-on. So, you know, it's hard to pick a favorite album or say what's your favorite, but, I, I know that this is the most personal one for me.